everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. Today is day four of my 12 days of Christmas projects. And today I'm featuring the Regal Reindeer Bundle. You can see it right here. It's got a great set of dies. Um, if you click the link here on YouTube, you can, um, it'll take you back to my blog where there is another Regal Reindeer project as well. I've got two projects every day for 12 days um, to give you lots of ideas for Christmas. Okay, let's start by stamping. No, actually, let's do the background because it needs to dry. Um, I have a piece of watercolor paper that is um, three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. I'm glad I remembered that. <laughs> and I am going to take um, my balmy blue and I've squeezed it so that it's on the inside like that. And we're going to get a water painter and some water and our a paper towel. And I want this to be pretty light, so I'm gonna add a lot of water. And I'm just going to add just kind of a snow drift. I'm not real worried about it being perfect at all. I just wanna give our reindeer and our little child somewhere to stand so they're just not floating around in space, okay? Really easy. Now, I'm gonna take the little snow image from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp these little snow flakes all over. Each time I'm going to try to turn my stamp so that they're not all uniform. We know that snowflakes don't all fall in a uniform manner so we don't want ours to look too uniform either. All right so now we're going to set that aside to dry while we work on our reindeer. We're going to stamp the reindeer on very vanilla um, our watercolor paper is somewhere in between very vanilla and basic white, but I find that the very vanilla seems to go a little bit better than the basic white. So I'm gonna stamp the reindeer and our little child in uh, memento black on very vanilla cardstock. I'm using Stampin' Blend, so I've stamped with my um, memento stamp, um, ink pad. All right, so we're gonna start Let's start with our reindeer and we're going to start with light crumb cake and I'm going to just use the bullet end of my marker and very carefully go around. He's got a little harness there. I need my glasses and I didn't grab them. Let's see if I can stay in the lines. So what I like to do with my Stampin' Blends is to do a full coat of the light color. Whoops, that's the, oh, that's the, <laughs> the little saddle or blanket on him. I think we can cover that up. Um, I like to do a full coat of light, all right? And then I'm gonna come back with my dark and add a little bit of shadow. The artist has given us kind of a clue of where to put our shadowing. All those little hash marks is a good place to put some shadow. I like to add shadow anywhere that there is something overlapping. So like this leg right here. That leg is overlapping that leg. So that is where a shadow would be. So I'm gonna take my dark and just kind of follow that line down. There would be a shadow underneath this blanket harness. So we'll add a little bit of dark there. There would definitely be some dark down here and on this back leg. And then down here on the bottom, there's a lot of little hash marks there too. You can do the bottom of his face as well. Now go back with your light and just kind of blend all of that together. Our Stampin' Blends are named Stampin' Blends because of the way that they blend the colors together. You're not gonna have any harsh streak or streaky marker uh, marks. It's going to all be blended together. Okay. Now I'm going to take soft suede light and I'm going to do his little antlers. And they're so thin and narrow that I like to just kind of do a little dot dot motion with my marker. Just kind of maybe dashes. Help me kind of stay in those lines because my hand isn't all that steady. So if I was to try to keep it all the way down like that, I would probably get out of the line. So doing little hash marks will help you 
stay in the lines. All right. Now, the other thing we're gonna do are her little boots down here. And it's got a little bit of white fuzz on them too, on the top. And her mittens. All right. Now let's go with the cherry cobbler. I'm gonna do cherry cobbler light on this harness. And again, around those bells is very tricky. So just do your dot, dot, dot with your marker to try to stay in as best you can. I think there's some there's some little circles here on this harness too, but I'm just gonna do a, a straight line of cherry cobbler. Um, we're gonna leave that middle part, we're gonna do that in Old Olive. Okay, and then her jacket. I left her scarf just white or vanilla, if you will. Um, I, I didn't want to do the green and I couldn't think of another color. So I thought, you know, we'll just leave this like a kind of a snowy white scarf. All right. And then I liked to do little stripes on her leggings. There we go. Now I'm gonna take um, So Saffron Dark and color in that saddle. And then last but not least, we'll get Old Olive. Let's do Old Olive Light for this part right here. There we go. Now one thing I did forget was that little ornament hanging from his antlers. There we go with with a moment or a cherry cobbler light and you know no I'm gonna leave that like that uh, the little apple too let's do that in cherry cobbler okay now before we cut it out I'm gonna add some wink of Stella to this little blanket the harness and I didn't color in those bells I need to color in the bells. And then her little, everything that's white on her that we've left, I'm gonna do some sparkles as well. Let's see if I can color in those bells there. There we go. Okay, let's bring over our cut and emboss machine if I can do it without making a huge mess. And we're gonna cut this out with the coordinating dies. This die set has dies that cut out the images, but there are also dies that cut out standalone images. There's a reindeer that you can cut out that has some detail on it. This one right here has the trees, the fox. Um, it's really a really neat um, set, you know, whether you wanna stamp your images or you wanna paper piece them. The other um, project I have for Regal Reindeer uses just the reindeer die and not the image. So make sure you check that out to get more ideas for using your Regal Reindeer. All right, now the hard part is done. We're just gonna assemble our card. I have a Cherry Cobbler card base that is five and a half by eight and a half folded in the middle. And I've got a piece of designer series paper. Now the paper that I originally used is sold out, so I have switched out for this. Make sure you check the supply list. All right, and then I've got a piece of gold, our um, brushed metallic card stock. I'm gonna adhere our little painted snow scene to that gold. And then I'm gonna just add some dimensionals to these guys like this and Add that to that and then we'll be done. Grab some more dimensionals. I like to use dimensionals. This card doesn't have any embellishments besides the Wink of Stella. So it lays down pretty flat. I think we can afford to use some more dimensionals. Oh, you know what, what did I forget? The sentiment, oh no, do you think I can stamp it? Let's give it a try. I don't recommend this, but we're gonna do it since I forgot. All right, I put the dimensional on there so it may not stamp very well, let's see. All right, not too bad. Merry Christmas in Cherry Cobbler. 
All right, you guys, there you go. I hope you feel inspired to use your Regal Reindeer stamp set. Please let me know if you have any questions and stop back by my blog tomorrow for two more projects in my 12-day series. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.